welcome back to Book Editors, where we judge movies by their covers. No mas para YouTube. Hey. So today we're starting over with the AFI list since they've renewed it with number 100, which is Ben Hur. Now this movie came out in 1959, which is older than my grandpa Moses. Back in my day. This movie's gonna run you at an excruciating three hours and 32 minutes. What? This movie's starring Charlton Heston and Stephen Boyd and a few other characters. Now this movie takes place in the first century where Judas Ben-Hur is betrayed by the governor, Masalis, who's his best friend. And Judas Ben-Hur spends the whole movie taking revenge. Judas Ben-Hur, who has a last name in the first century, seriously. See, what was Jesus' last name? So if you want to watch the trailer, click right here. Uh, one of the big things about this movie is it was shot in 70mm, which is equivalent to today's IMAX, uh, except no blue people. So here's the cover. Uh, I can't help but notice how much the font reminds me of the Flintstones font, but whatever, anyways. Rotten Tomatoes gave this a 91% and Flickster gave it an 80%. Basically, I'm just watching this movie because it's a classic, but I'll be back with my review uh, in 5 seconds, so please subscribe. And I'm back. Now the movie starts with the birth of Jesus, which really confuses me, and the three kings visiting him. Soon you see Masalis and Ben-Hur get together, and they're like both uh, very top honchos in the government. So they get together to support gay marriage. <sighs> Wrong notes, sorry. So anyways, I did this for about an hour. Next thing I knew, uh, Ben-Hur was a slave, and he's in the middle of this Roman war battling some other place that I wasn't aware of who. He ends up saving like the leader of the war in the, in the Roman army. When they get back to Rome, he's like, Caesar, this guy saved my life. Caesar's like, what do you want to do with him? And he's like, can I adopt him? And so he like, so he becomes the yours. heir to this Roman council member. And he, but he's like, wait, I need to go find my revenge. So he goes off and he finds his old friend who's a girl. And he's like, yo, what happened to my family? Where are they at? And she's like, oh, they're dead. So anyways, he goes to Masalis and he's like, I challenge you to a chariot race. And Masalis is like, I accept. This chariot scene is epic when it comes to film. And the reason this chariot scene is so crazy is because a guy actually dies in the movie. I don't mean like he dies as part of the I mean he dies in the making of it and they leave it in the film. Now I think this is really messed up only because it's like dude there's somebody dying on film. Why would anyways whatever I'm going to show this once and only once. So here it is. Check it out. So after the chariot race, uh, he ends up defeating Masalis. I think he dies in like the chariot race. But that's not the end. Now he has to save his mom and his sister who are alive, but they have leprosy. Dude, leprosy sucks in the first century. That, that's like, it was crazy, man. It's like probably having rabies or something. I don't know, you end up looking like this guy. So anyways, they decide to take him to this guy named Jesus, I guess is his name. And... They're like a week too late because I guess he's getting crucified. But then the next 20 minutes after that, it's like Jesus is crucifixion. And at this point, I was like, who's this movie about? Is it about Jesus or is it about Ben-Hur? I don't know. I'm lost. I don't know. What's going on? Anyways, Jesus gets crucified and after he dies, his mom and his sister are cured and that's the end. The reason I feel that this movie doesn't work is it has too many scenes that are too long explaining exactly what's going on. Like the guy going up the stairs. And if it was like one or two scenes, I think it'd be okay, but when it's like every other scene that this is going on, it just doesn't work and it doesn't really appeal to a younger audience. I suggest you don't watch this movie unless you're a film major. Uh, I don't see anybody really enjoying this unless you're older. Sorry to my older viewer. Now last week nobody really responded except for Diamond Lion 7. He's a funny guy, uh, but here's his answer to last week's question. Here's his answer right here. Pretty funny. Haha. <laughs> 
So now the question for next week, uh, it's not really from the movie, but I figured I'd put it in anyways. What would Jesus do? Now, if you want to click on the link for next week, it's right here. The movie I'll be reviewing next week is Toy Story. I'll see you later on Book Haters. Thanks for watching.